Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Mirror. And uh, this is very similar to uh, the Hangman out of the Rider White Tarot deck. And um, you know what I like about this card is um, one of the first things that pops out for me is the heron that's standing in front. And to me, the heron is also that king of vessels. Um, and, you know, being the king and being in part of, you know, all his emotions and controlled and psychic ability. What this tells me in the card is that I have that ability to have that psychic ability to have that control of my emotions. But what I have to do in this card is just like that serpentine figure does is look into the mirror and look within. Now, the hangman tells us that, you know, we need to look at things from a different perspective. And the mirror is saying the same thing, okay, but yet in a different way. We need to look at the perspective of coming from within our soul. And a lot of that has to do with having the patience and the prudence and trust, okay, of what spirit is trying to tell us so you can cross in, over to that island. When you surrender that will, okay, and look deep within and ask the spirit, where do I need to move forward? Where do I need to grow? Where do I need to, you know, uh, gain the knowledge, continue on my spiritual journey? By looking deep within, you get those answers. And a lot of us don't like looking deep within. It's a scary place, okay? And, you know, we would rather just be numb to life and numb to what's going on and not have to worry about, you know, what's going on, okay? But for those that are becoming aware, for those that are spiritually in tune and listening to what their intuition says and listening to what spirit has to them, has for them, look within. You have to look within your soul and answer those questions, you know, about where you want to go. Then you learn the valuable insights, whether that's spirit-driven, whether that's, you know, gut-driven, uh, intuition, however you want to look at it. And that also includes the dreams and visions that we have, you know, during the day or during the night. The good thing about this is, you know, as the hangman you know, is, is upside down, this serpentine figure has got her eyes closed and she's actually thinking, you know, about what's going on. Okay. The, um, a lot of times that this comes up when you're in that quest and it's one of the most difficult times of the quest. And, and, and this, again, this is a life lessons card. This is a major arcana. So as the wanderer is walking down his path, he comes across her and she wants him or her to look into their soul, okay? What is it that you need to have answered, okay? I can help guide you to that, to that answer, but you need to fully come to it in your, own, in your own soul. And you have to do that at your own timing. You can't force that issue. I know for myself, when I start forcing issues, it feels like I'm running uphill, okay? And, you know, I might be going downhill at that time. You know, or I'm banging my head up against the wall. I'm asking the wrong questions. It just seems like everything stops. The days, you know, the 24-hour day becomes a 48-hour day, all right? Time doesn't move for me when I start forcing stuff. So you have to let that come naturally, okay? Just as I, I spoken about, speak it out to the universe. Let, that, let them hear it. It's also you have to let that soul hear it within, let it come off of your vibrational tones, off of your voice, okay? And let that soul reverberate that sound as you're sending it out there to the universe because the soul and the universe, they are connected. They listen to each other. So you need to let that come naturally. And then, you, let, you know, the other thing is, is let spirit discern where that healing begins for you or where you need to take that next step on your journey, okay, in a conversation with somebody. Uh, looking at, you know, something going on, you know, in the workplace. You know, maybe it's just a, 
a small whisper, you know, and a, a lot of us have it. You know, we'll be walking down a hall and all of a sudden it sounds like somebody's calling your name. That's spirit. Spirit's trying to awaken you, okay, to, to bring some sort of knowledge or wisdom to what's going on. And a lot of times, I just had this happen to me the other day. I was walking down the hallway and all of a sudden I heard Dwayne. And I looked around and there's nobody around me. And I stopped and I paused. All right. And at first I scratched my head. I was like, I swear I heard my name. But yet when I stopped and paused and I asked spirit, a big calmness came over me. What that message was, I couldn't hear it. But I know the soul heard it. I know my spirit heard it. Okay. And it directed me down a different, a different avenue through the rest of my work day. So as the journey begins and you wake into that new awareness and energy, then you're ready to deal with the world and the rest of its challenges. Okay, and this has been a pretty challenging week. Okay, this is the fourth major arcana card this week. You know, first of all, they were talking about, you know, letting go of the judgment. All right, let go of judgment so you can move forward. You know, because what happens is a shaman has got that manifestation. You can do whatever you want with that manifestation. The green man's there to protect you as you're walking through. And then we have the seven of vessels, where now you, you know, all these vessels are empty. You're empty. It's time to refill, okay? And that's where that king of bows is, you know, you asked him for some direction. You asked him some advice, and he gave you that advice. And that advice now is telling you to look within. Look within your own soul to find the answers to what is troubling you. It's a scary place. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, you might not like the answer that your soul gives you or what spirit gives you or what the universe gives you. If you do get an answer, ask for direction. Spirit, I hear what you're telling me. I need, I need to go down this road with a relationship. How do I go about doing it? Okay, I need to talk to somebody. All right, I need to set the truth straight. I need to do this. It's action. You have to take that action. That's what that King of Bows was saying. I can give you all the advice in the world, but if you don't take that action, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay? So now he's giving you the advice based on a question you have. You may not like that answer, but now you have to look within. Why did I ask that to begin with? What was I truly seeking? He gave you the answer. Now it's time to look in the mirror, look deep within the soul, okay? Rely on that heron to give you the intuition, to give you the guidance, to give you that emotional calmness so you can, you can listen to what spirit has to say to you. Listen to what the universe has to say to you. Listen to what the guides have to say to you as you're moving forward on your journey with the questions that you've asked. Look within. Look in the mirror and look within. That's the message with uh, today's card, The Mirror. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below. Um, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. This is D for the Spirit's Path. Have a great day, everybody.